Good morning and welcome to Ignite this morning. I do hope you're well, I do hope you're enjoying the sunshine but you're not getting too hot. Uh, don't forget to drink plenty of water and put on sunscreen so you don't burn, obviously. Um, but hey, welcome to Ignite this morning. Uh, we've got another challenge for you. We've got a Bible reading, a reflection, some discussion questions and a prayer. So do stick around. Um, but now let's jump straight into our challenge, shall we? Hi guys, I'm Hannah and this is my skipping attempt. <laughs> okay guys, that was my attempt. Let's see what you well, can do. Um, and this is my skipping attempt. Speed up, one. <laughs> Speed up then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> stuck in my big feet. <laughs> oh. Should have put shoes on. Alright, there you go. Excellent. Well, I do hope that you had a go at that home. And if you do uh, and you post it on Instagram, feel free to tag us at St Mary's Youth. But now our Bible reading, it comes from Matthew chapter 10, verses 40 to 42. And it says this. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me and anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward and whoever welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward and if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple truly I tell you that person will certainly not lose their reward. Now I'm going to pop some discussion questions up on the screen so feel free to pause the video, discuss them with those around you or just think of the answers on your own and I'll be back in a minute. So we are told by Jesus in this reading to welcome everyone. Now that doesn't just mean people you already know or, or just your friends, it means that we should welcome everybody absolutely everyone we should be welcoming to them and if we welcome everybody equally then we are acting as Jesus acted himself we are following uh, the way he leads us and this passage tells us to welcome a prophet as a prophet now I wonder what you think that might mean because obviously people don't really talk about being a prophet at the moment but I think it means that we should welcome everybody equally no matter what they say they are um, that we should be trusting of, of who they are and who they tell us that they are. Now, obviously at this point, I must stress, please don't go welcoming complete and utter strangers into your home without first checking with your parents or your grandparents or whoever you live with, um, because obviously it's their home too. So please be aware of that. And, and obviously um, you do have to take a little bit of care at the moment because people can use false identities. But for the most part, what I'm saying is, if someone came to you and said, I'm a prophet, you shouldn't turn your nose up and walk away immediately. Actually, we should believe that that person is a prophet and, and we need to have an accepting attitude uh, to all people and to welcome everybody for who they are and accept that until we might know something different. Now, Jesus says that we are to offer even just a cup of cold water to people to show that we're welcoming them. Obviously, right now, during lockdown, we can't really offer people a cup of cold water. It's, it's a little bit complicated. So I wonder what types of things you might be able to do where you are to show people that you welcome them. Perhaps you could set up a, a hand gel station at the end of your drive so people could use it as they're walking around the town. Perhaps you could set up a water bottle refilling station. Could you send someone flowers or a card to show that you, you're thinking of them? How can you welcome people during this time welcome them into your life while you can't necessarily physically welcome them into your home if you've got any great ideas do share them with us we'd love to hear how you're welcoming people in your area now jesus tells us to be completely open to all people 
and that we should be welcoming in our nature towards everyone, absolutely everyone. Sometimes people find it hard to do this, but with God's help, we can all achieve it. So let's pray together. We ask Jesus that you show us how to welcome, that everyone is accepted, that we love all whom we meet, that we know we are called in your name. We know that our names are important to you. Help us to meet people with open hearts and minds, that we are able to see that all are equal in your eyes. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us this morning and I do hope to see you again next week for our next Ignite session. I'll see you then.